हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्ट देर आर टू पार्ट्स ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्ट डिवाइडेड दैट इज इन द फैकल्टेटिव एंड द एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट इन द फैकल्टेटिव ट्रांसपोर्ट दैट इज बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द ग्लूट दैट आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्ट जी एल यू टी एस एंड इन द एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ एस जी एल टी सो इन फैकल्टेटिव दे आर सोडियम इंडिपेंडेंट दे आर डाउन टू कंसनट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट and they are bidirectional while in the active transport they are sodium dependent sodium glucose symport and they are against concentration gradient and they are unidirectional so i will tell you the location and the function of the glute and sglt so first we will start from sglt as sglt are two in number sglt1 and sglt2 so the sglt1 is glucose plus galactose the location is present in intestine and the kidney sglt2 that contains only glucose and the location it present only in kidney so these are the two active transport which are sglt1 and sglt2 so now we will discuss about the glute that are very important and also asked in many of the exams starting from the glute1 the glute1 location is brain placenta kidney and rbc the function is glucose uptake during fasting glute2 location is liver pancreas and intestine function liver glycogen formation pancreas insulin secretion glute3 brain placenta kidney and the function is glucose uptake during fasting next that is glute4 the location is skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and adipose tissue this is asked in many time that in which tissue which glute is insulin dependent so that is glute4 this can be asked so the function is also insulin stimulate glucose uptake after meal after taking the meal the insulin getting stimulated while the condition in the diabetes patient the glute 4 do not activates because as you know there is the deficiency of the insulin so the diabetes patient are recommended to do the exercise after having the meal diabetes patient are recommended by the doctor to do exercise after the meal because it activates the glute 4 by the help of the 5 dash amp activated that help to activate the glute 4 instead of insu- insulin because they are they are deficient to insulin so directly by the help of 5 dash amp the glute 4 is activated and the condition of hypoglycemia occurs so now we are going to discuss about the next that is glute 5 the location is small intestine testes and the function is fructose transport and the next that is glute 6 the location is wbc spleen and the function is not known till now the next and the last that is glute 7 the location is liver endoplasmic reticulum and the function is glucose transporter in endoplasmic reticulum so these are the glutes and the sglts we discussed in this video so these are simple we just have to remember all of the glute 7 their function and the location because that are very important as you can see glute 1 and glute 3 have similar location only the difference of rbc as glute 1 have also uh, glute 1 is also present in rbc so like this by the help of the mnemonics if you can make by the help of that also you can remember like glute 1 and glute 3 have same location you can remember by this glute 2 you can remember it is present in the liver and the pancreas glute 4 present in the tissues glute 5 it is present in small intestine and testes and as you know that fructose is present in sperm so fructose transport glucose uh, that glute 6 that is present in wbc spleen and the last that is glute 7 present in liver endoplasmic reticulum and the function is also simple that is glucose transport in the endoplasmic reticulum i also told you the condition about the diabetic patient so thank you guys if you like this video then share it and do subscribe my channel we'll meet soon with a new topic in a new video thank you guys